The Cowboys may have won this game, but unfortunately, it was the refs who stole the show once again, and this might be the worst refereeing botch of the season. First, the Lions get into within down one, and then you know Dan Campbell, he's going to want to go for two. So they draw up some trickery in which Taylor Decker reported as eligible, at least he thought he reported as eligible, and then got the go-ahead two-point conversion. Here's a video of Goff in the huddle, pointing at Taylor Decker, number 68, then he goes to report as eligible eligible and here's number 68 Taylor Decker walking up to the referee before the play maybe he was making it too obvious for the opposition but it worked and he definitely was going to the referee to tell him that and then it results in them failing so basically they called it an illegal formation because they said that number 68 did not report as eligible so what the refs got is that number 70 was reported as eligible and not number 68 so basically the reason that the Lions lost this game is because the referee got who reported eligible to him wrong because number 70 he was playing guard why would he report eligible if you look at the formation 68 Taylor Decker he was on the outside at tackle and then after the game the number 70 skipper he said that he did not report and Taylor Decker said the same thing he said he did exactly what he was told to do and he also said that Dan Campbell explained this exact situation to the refs before the game and I'm sure when they were explaining that they knew that it would be Taylor Decker inevitably getting that ball and being the guy that reports is eligible they practice this when they install it so it's just so such a bad look Dan Campbell Jared Goff everyone both O-linemen involved announced that there was not 70 who reported eligible it was number 68 Taylor Decker so because the refs had a miscommunication it's going to cost the Lions a game and it can cost them a shot at the one seed if they won this it's about a 30 percent chance of the one seed and now it's just not going to happen and to make matters worse these were the same refs that were refing the Chiefs Packers game when there was the controversial miss pass interference on MVS late game so let me know your thoughts on this have to feel terrible for the Lions and their fans right now because they just got robbed for some other news not related to this game, the Green Bay Packers' long-term decision with the future of Jair Alexander is going to be revolving around the $8 million roster bonus that he's owed on March 20th. We'll see if they decide to move forward with Jair or not. He's going to be playing the final week of the season, but he's suspended for this week, their biggest game of the season against the Vikings. And Jeremy Fowler of ESPN, after talking to some teams, has listed the Steelers, Patriots, and Falcons as teams to watch and possible favorites for landing Russell Wilson when he's cut by the Broncos this offseason. The Steelers have Kenny Pickett. The Patriots, if they lose to the Bills tomorrow, they clinch a top four pick. And the Falcons, they don't really have a QB for the future, so maybe that can make some sense. That was the best of NFL's action today, obviously led by the refereeing debacle. The latest one, unfortunately, robbed the Lions out of a win.